So this is where we left off. Um, joystick control respects uh, sort of boundaries and stuff like that. But in this game, I want to uh, have a bunch of gaps like this as obstacles. And without the ability of jump, either you're stuck here at a standstill or on a suicide mission. So anyway, in this episode, we'll remedy this. Anyway, so this is uh, my subroutine um, for managing the character's Y position. So the first thing it does is it uh, retrieves the Y position, the existing Y position, um, stores it temporarily. Then we check to see if it's actually um, in the jump state. And if it's not, th then we start looking at the fall stuff. Anyway, so here's the jump code here. So we subtract one from the Y position variable because as you're going higher, you're actually uh, decreasing in terms of Y position. And the other thing we want to do here is um, you're not going to jump forever. So this little bit of code over here um, looks at the at the character jump counter, compares with zero. Essentially, if it's zero, then you, you want to basically get out of your jump and probably start falling. Otherwise, um, if if you're not zero, you want to continue subtracting one f from the jump counter. I just jumped um, to the section of my code that has all my constants defined. So anyway, full count of the jump counter um, is currently set to 5 and uh, that's what we're going to try out first. So now it's the moment of truth. We're going to try our jump. So let's take a big glorious jump off of this ledge right now. Okay, that wasn't that big. Uh, I am starting to think that maybe 5 wasn't uh, a high enough value. Yeah. Actually, one good thing about this though is if you ever have to do a cut screen and you have to make your character look very angry, a jump height of 5 is uh, perfect for that. Anyway, um, let's fix this up and increase the, uh, the jump height. So yeah, it turned out a value of 5 for the jump counter. Um, was not enough. He was not jumping nearly high enough. And I was thinking each brick is 16 pixels high. I want to at least jump that plus maybe another half brick. So 24 pixel height is probably what we're going for which would be hex value of 18 or well 18. So hex value 18 is what we're going to change the jump full count value now we should be able to jump higher. Let's check that out. So we just finished changing um, the jump counter to uh, hex value 18 and uh, let's see how that works. You can see he jumps a lot higher and we should be able to make this jump no problem. Likewise here. And what about jumping back on this ledge? No problem. Cool. So that's it for now. I, I think uh, we'll do something else next time um, beyond character mechanics. Um, here's a hint here. Whenever I do this, I don't want to come back onto the same level. It'd be nice to actually change levels when you exit the right-hand side of the screen. So next time we'll work on that.